Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use LogMe One's Password Manager. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be wondering how do you use LogMe Once? Now if you want to protect your identity or like for example your passwords or just your general identity, well LogMe Once here can actually help you. So what we need to do first is we need to go to their, their official website, which is going to be logmeonce.com. Now from here in their website, we have our general idea on how to use it and some general information about it. Now when you go to pricing here, as you can see, we have a different pricing that we could get like teams, business or enterprise, or even personal or family. So maybe if you want to maybe use it for personal use only, choose personal and family. Now the great thing about LogMe once here is you can actually use the platform or the software itself for free. So you don't need to pay anything here. So in this case, since we want to use it for free, let's just click on the free button here for premium. And from here, what we need to do is we now need to sign up. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to enter our email. So let's go ahead and enter those details. Now in the next section, it's going to ask you to create an account. So you need to enter your first name as well as your password and the re-enter of your password or the confirmation of your password. So let's go ahead and provide all those details. Now from here, we now need to enter our security questions. So this is a way for you to, just in case you forgot your password, this is a way for you to confirm your identity. So in this case, there are going to be uh, some uh, questions you can ask here, like what is your spouse's phone number, or his best friend's phone number, enter your old phone number here, or enter your sibling's email address, or in what city were you born. Now if you want to use a custom pass uh, question here, just use the uh, true uh, type your own question here, and basically uh, input your question, enter your answer and re-enter your password, uh, your answer here, just click on the sign up button. So in this case, let's go and provide our question and answer. Now, once you've created your account, this is the first thing you can see on log me once. Now, there are going to be a lot of things that you could do here. Like for example, this is going to be the dashboard. Now, the dashboard could give you uh, different information about your account as well as the passwords or the security of your account. So in this case, you have the identity risk score here, overall password strength here, and login activities if you have those. But if you want to use this, you need to upgrade to the ultimate edition for you to fully utilize them. Also for the J daily journal here. So if you again, if you want to use it, you need to get the ultimate edition as well. But the great thing about LogMe once is the main features are actually free. Like for example, the password manager. Now, in the password management here, in the password manager, you will have the option to basically add passwords or add apps. Now, by the way, there's also an extension for LogMe One. So in this case, you can go and click on click to download here. And from here, just click on download for Chrome. Now, in this case, it will download the extension itself. So you should be able to see the Chrome web store here. Just click on add to Chrome, click on add extension, and that should do it. Now again, let's go ahead and go back into our main page here. And from here, you should now have log me once. So let's go ahead and pin this one so that we'll be able to easily access this. Now, by the way, you if you click on the app itself or the extension for log me once, you have the passwords here. So you should, you should be able to see your passwords, your generation generator, if you want to generate a password quickly, you want to use it for your account, and even uh, copy it if you want to regenerate it, and even specify how long or what to include, lowercase, digits, or symbols. Also have notifications if you want those and even home here, you should be able to see the homepage for your account. Now, again, for password manager here, you just click on the add app option and you should be able to add or start adding apps. Like for example, maybe I wanna add a Facebook account here. Let's go add Facebook. From here, let's go and choose Facebook here. And from here, you could add them to whatever section. So I have favorites, family, finance, school, or social. So for example, I wanna add this to social. Now the look in URL here will be automatically filled, but in this case, if you have like a different app or it's not included here, you can manually enter the login URL and the application name as well. They have our username here. So as an example, I'm going to enter this username here. And we also have the password section. Now in this case, if you want to uh, basically generate your own password, you could use the password generator here. If you want to copy it, just click on copy, or if you want to view the password itself, just click on show. So for example, I'm going to enter a password here. And from here, if you want to add, like for example, a secure notes, you can go ahead and click on secure notes here. And from here, you should be able to uh, use it. If you have like, for example, the uh, professional edition or the higher editions that they offer. So in this case, once you've entered all the details required, just click on add app. And from here, that should add the app or the password itself on your account. In this case, if you want to log in, just click on log in here and that would actually automatically uh, lead you to the website and enter those details. 
Now, we also have the favorites here. If you want to view your favorites, your family, or your finances, or your work, this is how you do it. You go ahead and go to all apps section as well. If you want to view all the uh, password that you have. Now, if you want to add secure notes, like for example, uh, your Wi-Fi password, you, know, you could go to secure notes. Just click on add note here. And you could just specify what type of note this one and what uh, color it is. So for example, maybe this is going to be a Wi-Fi password. From here, spend, uh, basically enter your password. So an example is uh, what's going to you uh, do. So if you want to sh uh, show the note in your dashboard for easy access, you go and do that. But for now, let's just click on add note. And we should now have our note. Now, if you want to show it, just click on click to show here. And you, should be able to, you should be able to see it. Now, if you want to add a secure wallet, like for example, if you want to add your cards, this is where you add it. Just click on add credit card. And from here, just fill, uh, fill out all the details, like for example, the card holder name, card number, expiration date, security code, and who is the issuer. You also have the uh, card type here, maybe Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Diners Club, or uh, whatever type of card here. In this case, once you've added all the details, just click on add note. You can even choose the color for that card that will be shown here. So for example, this is going to be the number, this is going to be the name, and this is going to be the CVC. So this is just an example. In this case, let's go and click on add note. In this case, we now have our card. Now, if you want to edit your profile, like your personal information, you could go to your profile. In this case, once you click on it, you have the option to enter your birthday, your last name, your first name, and even your date of birth and year. Now, once you're done that, just click on save to save your changes. You also have the sharing center. For example, if you want to share a specific item to a different person, well, in this case, you should be able to see all the items that you've uh, shared here. So for example, I want to go to password manager here. And from here, I want to uh, basically click on the tree dot icon and want to share this to someone. In this case, you just need to enter the email address. You also have the sharing option here if you want to expire. So for example, it's going to expire after one day. And if you want to allow view password or view application note only. In this case, once you've done, you've done this or enter their email, just click on share and you should be able to share this specific information to that specific person. Now, if you also have the application catalog here, which in this case, you have the option to view all the applications that is uh, actually uh, directly uh, can be added on LogMe once. So you have Facebook, YouTube, and a lot more. So if you want to add them, just click on add app. From here, it should create a new uh, password section here, which in this case, go the sums, the other section here will be pre-populated. Like for example, the login URL, the application name, the username and password, you just need to enter that and just click on add app. Yeah. There's going to be additional information or details or uh, features that you can access here like identity protection, cloud encryptor, and reports. But most of these features are in the uh, premium version of LogMe once. But we also have our settings here. So our settings is a great way for you to uh, manage your account. Like for example, the website itself. So if you want to change your general uh, general settings, you have the show fe uh, features like dashboard secure notes if you want to remove those. So basically just customizing your LogMe once account. You also have the browser extension here, you know, how you actually want it to behave. Like for example, show a LogMe once icon inside the files or uh, different options here if you want to change a few things, how it actually interacts. Now, if you also have the two-factor authentication here, if you want to enable a QR code two-factor authentication or selfie two-factor authentication, which in this case, you'll be able to uh, basically uh, log, in, log in without actually using your password. You just need to use a QR code or your selfie for you to log in into your LogMe once. Okay, also have devices here. So this is where you'll be able to see your devices that you have. So currently I only have one, uh, this one, which is Windows 10, which is my current device. Oh, so we have a never uh, remember. Uh, if you want to add some URLs, if you want if you want them to add the, to the never remember uh, page, like for example, if you log into somewhere and you don't want log me once to remember that, you should be able to add them in the section. Also have open ID here. Also have mugshot. Like for example, if someone actually tries to log in into your account without your permissions, they will actually take a photo of your uh, mo from your mobile device or from your PC if you have it available. Also have the mobile here. So login verification and privacy, emergency access if you want to change those in storage mode. So yeah. So in this case, those are the basic settings that you need to do or remember in using LogMe once. So for name itself, LogMe once actually helps you to log in to different platforms. You just need to log in once in your account for LogMe once, and you'll be able to basically log in to other platforms by clicking on the uh, app itself, like for example, Facebook. You just need to click on log in, and you should be able to autom automatically log in to that specific website. And that's about it. 
So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.